Okay, in this video, we're going to talk about uh, just how to deal with window sizes. Um, I can't give you a specific scenario when you're going to need it, but time to time, uh, you, you're going to need to um, to change the size of the browser the browser window. First time I had to do this, um, it was it was a it was a page. I guess it was a, a buggy page, but we were going to get rid of it soon, so um, we weren't going to do an effort to uh, redo. Uh, the HTML and what happens is if you squeeze the window a little bit smaller some of the divs they overlap and selenium won't be able to click on the one that's like at the bottom I guess and uh, so the problem was basically saying the element is unclickable and what I had to do is and it sometimes it works sometimes it doesn't uh, I had dual monitor and based on which monitor it opened on it's just different scenarios it just opens bigger and smaller sometimes and I need to run it on Jenkins. And so what I figured out is I just make sure I just find out what size works best and just expand the window to that particular size every time I run the test. So that's when I first time I actually uh, did that. So you never know when you're going to need it. So it's a, it's a good idea to um, to figure out to figure out how to use it we're going to do it on the console it's just easier for me to show you and at the end we just uh, we just run so let's uh, let's run it on the console and so you can see the window just open we're just going to uh, google.com so one thing we can do is to get the size of the window so i can just do driver that gate see this that's why i love ipython is just all the hints it gives me um, get window size right you can see window position you can get the location of the window uh, relative to I don't know if it starts from the right corner or the left corner um, and but also you can get the size if I get the size and if I print it there you go it says the height is 660 and the width is 1050 uh, that's how, how big the, the window is so what you can do is you can set what size it is so you would say driver dot set this set window size set page load timeout script timeout windows position so these kinds of things with this this hints they should um, give you curiosity to go find out what they do like script set script timeout what does it do we're not going to cover it in this tutorial maybe I'll I'll keep adding it once I publish but for now I don't have a plan to cover it because a little bit advanced but it's a script that runs and web driver can run it so that should give you um that should make you curious and go research it because you never know when you're going to need it so for now we're going to do a set window size and from here we can tell the first parameter is going to be the width and the second parameter is going to be the height so if we do the width but the best thing i'll do is i type in that so i won't get confused which one is what so i will do like uh uh, 500 and the uh, height would be like 800 so we can you can definitely see so this is what the window looks like right now and I hit enter and this is what the window looks like right now see how the size changes so we can do that we can now let's let's change the height let's make the height 400 which is like really short and let's make the width like 900 and hit enter no errors I open it see how now the height the width is a lot longer than the height so you can control it uh, like this and you can get the position and everything so let me copy paste it from my uh, from my notes and let's look at it do this thing just learn so what I have here is um, because the URL I put in type sleep every time because it happens so fast you're not going to be able to see it. I put in two seconds. I know what. Let me do three seconds here, three seconds here. Oops, what did I do here? three seconds here yeah, let's just sleep three seconds so you can see it so what I'm doing is I'm going there uh, I, I, I'm just setting the size to 500 by 800 then I'm gonna sleep for a little bit so you can see it then I'm gonna change it to 800 to 500 
then I'm going to change it to 400 by 400, which is going to be like a little square. Uh, I'm going to get the position and print the position. Another thing I can do, in fact, I need to start doing that is just do it in one line. Why have two lines, right? It would be a little bit more Pythonic about it. Then sleep and maximize window. Well, you can tell what this does, right? Just by reading it, it maximizes the window. And this one gets the window position, which I already have. So I can delete that. And let's run it. And let's watch it do its magic. Window open. This is just the original size that it opened at. And it's going to be skinny now. It should wait three seconds. Well, it went to a little skinny. Another three seconds. Well, it went to diagonal. Now it should go to a perfect square. There you go. 400 by 400. And after that, it's just going to print the location. And it's going to maximize. Bam. It is maximized. So this is how you control the size of the window. Uh, it might seem silly, but trust me. Uh, you, you will need it before you know it.